Let's talk about the importance of failure, the feedback process, and letting go of the need to have it perfect the first time, because this is becoming quite an issue, especially here in Australia, as noted by principals in a recent news article that our education system is coming to quite a crisis point. So I'm Jason for studentsuccesstutor.com. What I do in tutoring is I encourage the feedback process. It's one of the most critical things in the tutoring cycle. So the students learn how to do better. They see where they can improve. So it's a matter of actually having a go and trying and failing and figuring out how do I learn as opposed to everybody else out, out there and how everybody's supposed to learn because we're all unique. So what I'm about to show you is a video where I was doing one with cockatoos regarding the feedback process. Now it went horribly wrong, but it's absolutely really funny. So I'm putting that out there to model this, that failure is fun, failure helps you learn, and it helps you to do better. So enjoy the video. So when it comes to learning, notice what's going on. Everything may be unique. Now it's a bit like what I'm trying to do with this bird. Is he going to come to me? It just bit me before. So it would much rather it just have a lazy feed. Are you going to come up? Come on. So as the feedback loop happens, come on, you're going to come up. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Naughty. Come on, come up. See, he'd rather just bite me than me come down to him. So, come on. Why? Now the feedback loop tells me I need to stop here or I'm going to suffer. <laughs> and my cameraman's losing it. Come on. So that video was a fail on a number of fronts. Firstly, I already had some good videos on the same sort of topic, so I didn't need to keep doing it, but I did. But what was great about it was that the cockatoos came out and played their role perfectly, actually enacting for me the feedback process, how to watch the birds, how to monitor them. They were not interested in being terribly friendly. They'd already had a bit of a feed and there was too much seed on the ground, so they weren't going to play ball. But I persisted. That is the other point. And it's funny, so I might as well share it, even though it makes me look like, well, less than perfect. So anyway, that's what I teach in the tutoring. That's how I nurture the learning process. It's critical, because if your whole life becomes angled that way, life is a lot more enjoyable and a lot more success happens. So if you're interested in tutoring, make contact. I'm Jason for studentsuccesstutor.com.